Hello, I'm here to show you guys how to use proper proper use the or test the Pixel Set Game Tester, and I will start running the game first, obviously. <laughs> and after loading, I'm gonna give it a free screen so you can see better, have a better view of the game. And now we have here the main main menu, the main screen, and you can pre we can press start on the controller or we can press enter on the keyboard. For this tutorial, I will be using a uh, Xbox controller, but you can use any gamepad and controller you want. So first, press start, and we will have those three options here. We will select the single player option by pressing the salt button on the controller or pressing the space key on the keyboard. After selecting it, we can now see this screen here. And here we can select a set to test. I'm gonna select the Joanna Dark to show the basic movements and animations. Now we are on the gameplay scene. As you can see, the character is on idle animation. To, to make her move, you can press the left joystick on the controller. If we press slowly, she will run, walk. And if you, we press harder, she will run. We can do the same on the keyboard by pressing the arrow keys. We can also jump by pressing the salt button on the controller or the space button on the keyboard. And we can also attack by pressing the Q key on the keyboard or the West button on the controller. So if you hold the button, she will deliver a default attack combo. We can also block by holding the left trigger on the controller or the left shift on the keyboard and, we, and if you, we try to move while in blocking she will uh, do a dodge movement like that to show the spell system i will be selecting another set and it, it will be the which asset so first i need to press start then i can see this menu here and here i can select the option to add to the menu by pressing the d-pad axis or the arrow keys on the keyboard. So I'm gonna select the exit option. I then I go back to the main menu. So repeat the process, press start, single player. And here I can now select the Salamander Witch asset. First you need to notice that there is a spell menu on the bottom left of the screen and there is four spells there that we can we can test. And the current one selected is the fireball and will be the first one that we will test here. So first to charge the spell we can hold the right bumper on the controller or the R key on the keyboard. So let's hold it and as you can see the spell is now charging and the, the, it will be charged to the max level that the character can charge it. And after releasing the spell is casted on the direction that she was charging. And the damage is based on the elements that that spell is made of. So we can also select the spell by pressing the D-pad axis on the controller or the 1, 2, 3 and 4 keys on the keyboard. So I'm gonna test now the Inferno spell. And there is a different behavior for, that, for this one. It's a target spell. So as you can see now, it's target the dummy in front of the mage and we can release it and the spell will be cast on the same position of the target so by the moment that's all there will be new updates on the foot like animations new characters and some changes but that's all thank you have a nice day